Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna teach you, yes, you how to do the sucker punch. You probably know by the title of this video what sound you're going to learn or the intro that I just did, but for those of you that weren't paying attention, this is the tutorial of the sucker punch. Don't be a sucker, learn the sucker punch. Yeah, so basically, this shouldn't really take a ton of training, it's relatively simple and straightforward. I am aware that I say that in every video, but this sound is actually, like, pretty straightforward. Alright, say HUD or HUT. Go ahead, say it. HUD, HUD, HUT, HUT, HUT. I'm probably gonna say HUT for this. It's actually more of like a hood. It's more of a hood, and like, you know, hood of a car, or foot, or good whichever one feels more natural for you go ahead and just say that one it doesn't really matter they're the same thing in concept <laughs> but pretty much the next thing you want to do is just say that inward so i'm gonna go hud for those of you that don't know inward just means taking air in we use that term a lot in beatbox but it's just instead of hud it's hud 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 in essence, you already have the sucker punch, that D of the H-U-D is the sucker punch, just like in a really simple and basic form. The top of your tongue should be resting on your hard palate, that's like the roof of your mouth closer to your teeth, just like not down in your throat. It's not on your teeth, but basically just naturally where you would say a D sound, where your tongue sits right there. The next step is to remove the vocalization, or the hum sound, that comes with saying HUD inwards. HUD, HUD. It's basically whispering now, but inwards, so HUD, 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 HUD. So instead of HUD, you want HUD. The next step is honestly just cleaning up the sound. You already have the sucker punch at this point, but you want to make that HU as quiet as you possibly can, and you want the D to be as loud as you can, so you want to take it from to I'll just gradually do it here it's just training that over and over again as far as uses go sucker punches are absolutely great for fast combos especially on a mic and amp because something about the way a dynamic mic works makes the sucker punches sound really full and clear and powerful. It's really cool. A really quick little bonus pattern for you to throw around is a triplet. If you don't know what that is, that's a three sound combo that goes in the rhythm like you can trade these sounds for other ones, but these are pretty easy sounds to do, so I figured I'd just teach this version and you can mess around with variation later. This pattern is just a kind of like bark sound. You don't want it to sound too vocal, but this is just like a simple build up and release of pressure in the back of your throat with your uvula, like closing it off. Like same as a cough snare. <coughs> the next sound in the combo is obviously the sucker punch, which you just learned, so it's so far <coughs> which you can already use that in a beat if you want. third sound in this combo is a tongue click, or obviously a lot of people just call it a click. It sounds like this. 
but instead of blocking off your throat like most people do for the clicks down you're actually opening your throat so you get more resonance within your whole system it kind of loses that nice click tone that we all know and love but at the same time it makes it sound more percussive and it's a lot easier to get to in this pattern to go right from the sucker punch into the click it's basically this so instead of it's again that's oh oh Anyways, that was my little tutorial on the sucker punch. This is my first video being scripted. I wrote out a script during school whenever I was done with an assignment. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you later. <laughs>